Welcome back. Today's quick creation is a classic Turk's head bracelet. Turk's heads are more a category of decorative knot than a single knot. This bracelet is one of the Turk's head's traditional forms. It's a three lead, 10 bite Turk's head, which means that the pattern is repeated 10 times, it crosses itself 10 times around the circle, and is made with three parts. So it looks like a traditional three strand braid. Each one of those parts is tripled in this bracelet and is made up of three cords. Notice that this bracelet does not have a buckle, but instead has a seamless pattern all the way around. You'll be making this bracelet on your hand, and it slid over your hand to put it on. All you're going to need for this paracord project is about 15 feet of paracord, scissors, and a lighter. You can probably get away with using 10 feet of paracord if your wrist is less than 8 inches around, um, but it's safer to, to have that extra 5 feet on there. The easiest way to measure your wrist is to take a piece of paracord and lay it around and marking where the end meets the middle. And then just lay that out on a ruler. You'll see that mine is seven and a half. So I would be fine with 10, but I'm just gonna have that, that extra just in case. I'm gonna be using a FID for this project, but you guys do not need a FID. This is mostly just so that you guys can see where I'm, I'm weaving the cord through. Start by taking one end of your paracord and laying it across your palm with the end pointing up. Then we're gonna wrap it around the back and on the left side and cross it back over to the right. So you have a meeting point right there that you can hold in place with your thumb. Then once more around on the right side. Then we're gonna go through the middle of these two cords. It's gonna be over the first one and under the second one, like this. Pull all your slack through. So now it's on the left side. We're going to be crossing these two cords with the left one going underneath. And then we're going to be going over that first cord and under that second cord again. So over, under, and pull your slack through. That's the basis of your pattern. Now we're gonna go again and cross those cords and go over the first, under the second. Pull your slack through. At this point, your standing end is securely in place so you can actually shift this bracelet around your hand to keep on working in your palm. So you should be on your left side at this point. Same thing again, cross those two cords with the left one going underneath and then over the first cord, under the second, and pull the extra through. Once more, there should be a natural crossing already from when you crossed it for the previous step. So you just go over the first, under the second. So again, cross, I'll, I'll use the fid so you can tell what I'm doing here. Cross, over the first, under the second. And now we come back to where we started just about. So now that we've gone around once and we've got three strands, we're basically gonna follow this cord all the way through it again. And, and we're gonna triple each one of these strands. So we wanna keep them going parallel. So this one is going to the left of my standing end right now. So we wanna keep it going to the left as we weave it through again. So you just want to follow right alongside next to it. So we're going to go right through like that. Keep any twists out of there if they develop. So now we've got our two parallel lines. You can shift your bracelet around your hand. Just keep on following. So now because we're staying on the left side, we'll have to go through like that here. And now just like before, over, under, and over. Back through this way, right alongside. Just make sure that you keep on following the same strand and that you don't switch it up. And now you'll notice that we aren't meeting up with this one. We're just gonna continue along that line, doubling up as we go. So staying on the left side until not only is this strand doubled up, but this strand is gonna have two, this strand is gonna have two. 
All right, so now we've gone all the way around and each of our strands is too thick now. I'm gonna come back to where we started. You can leave it that way for a thinner bracelet. I like to go once more around to make each one three strands thick. So I'll go ahead and do that. Just make sure you stay on the left side each time. So now we've come to the end. We've got three wide on each of our three strands. So now before you cut your ends off, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this bracelet fits on your wrist. Um, if it doesn't, don't worry, you can adjust it. It just takes a little bit of time. You want it to be pretty tight, but it looks like mine is gonna be a little bit too narrow to get on my hand. So what you do is just kind of give it a little bit of slack and feed it through. So once you have it the size you want, and everything's looking good, you can pull this tail end down into the bottom of the bracelet, just pull it back through. You'll notice you have four strands side by side right here. So to give it that seamless look, you're gonna to wanna to hide your, your splice mark where you, you melt your ends. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this piece right here. This is my, my tail end, my short piece. Then my other one, I'm gonna cut close to the same spot. Might wanna leave just a little bit of extra. You can always make it shorter, you can't make it longer. So get your two ends close together. You need to get your lighter. And melt both ends. And then carefully push them together. You're not gonna have a lot of slack to work with, so it's easy to burn your fingers like I'm doing. Once you have that meld, it might be a little bit sharp on the edge, so you can just kind of melt the edges a little bit to, to soften them up and push that flat carefully. So now from the top, you can't even tell that you have your seam underneath. And that is done. You can find links to all the supplies used in this video in the description below. For more paracord tutorials, visit paracordplanet.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.